<laughs> what's going on everybody hope you all are having a great day we're gonna come out here we're gonna feed rambo and hey hadley has got some fruit for the sheep we'll see if they'll eat it if not we'll take it out to the chickens um, i'm thinking today we're going to release the black creature back into its natural habitat <laughs> so stay with us we'll let him we'll let the, the little black creature out and we're gonna feed rambo so hope you guys like the video Rambo out. Hadley wants to play with Rambo for a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and open this gate and let Mama come out, get some more exercise out here. I don't want to let them, Mama and the little baby lamb, uh, come out here yet. It's just too little. If they go, if they try to get into this shelter with the rest of the sheep, I'm afraid that one of them might crush it, sit on it, and kill it. So I'm going to leave it isolating in this pen for a while, probably probably a few days. Uh, Mama's not stressed out. She's not showing any signs of stress. She's eating, drinking, taking care of the little ones. So she's going to be just fine in this enclosure uh, i just want that other i want that little baby just to get bigger um, before i release it into the rest of the flock so uh, let's i'll show you guys open it it's actually pooping pretty good right now i'm watching it um, so that's good it's getting plenty of food go for the other lamb hey hold on they will run you over He's getting big, huh? Yeah. Well, they're all eating good. Everyone's happy. Little baby lamb's happy. Rambo, we're gonna let Rambo out, he can follow us around. He, he's pretty good, he's uh, he's kind of, kind of got a milk train, so he thinks we're gonna give him food every time we're around. So he'll follow us around like a little pet dog. You know, that's what Rambo's gonna be. He's gonna be a pet, um, but also he'll be able to serve a purpose on the homestead other than just eating. If we ever need another breeder uh, ram, that's gonna be Rambo. So let's let Rambo out to run around for a little while. It is a windy sucker out here. I hope my mic's working. Uh, Rambo's wanting to follow me around. He was playing Hadley earlier. We'll try to get him running around and have some fun.
don't drop them. Don't get them all, don't get them all up. If they're dirty, don't get them all over here. Don't let them out. Gotta fill up the automatic water here. I don't think it's supposed to get below freezing tonight, um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this one up. Other than the the rubber one I got. It's one thing people ask me if I got chickens. I got three laying hens. I did have like 12 at one time, and uh, things things happen time to time. Um, over the last several years, uh, we're down to three. But I want to. Okay, I want I want to hatch some more, and I like the um, those are cinnamon queens and they really good lay, uh, egg layers i like the barred rock i'm gonna get some more barred rocks i think i usually have my water hose over here um, but I hooked both of them up and took them to the front of the house. That way I could water the sheep. Um, it, it's closer uh, to the sheep pen from that uh, hydrant over there than it is from the hydrant that's out in the middle of that field. So you get to see me fill this about halfway up. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and water them. Uh, and then we're going to go in the house. I'm going to show you something pretty cool. Um, I got Brandy for Valentine's Day. And I think you guys, some of y'all might like it. So we got them taken care of. Hadley had a suggestion. She told me I should take out this, take the doghouse over there and put it out there for Rambo. Pretty good little idea. I might end up doing that. Maybe not today, um, but it is a good idea. Oh man, windy and cold out here. It's actually warmer today than it was yesterday. But let's go in the house and let me show you what I'm talking about. You guys really gonna like it, Hadley? Okay, I want to show you this. Uh, Brandy loves it. We haven't got any fresh eggs to put it, to use it yet, but it's a little egg holder. Let me show you the concept of it. So you get your eggs for the day, and we just got these. These three are from like two days ago, and then we got these today. So what you do is you're gonna put. You can actually. This might actually break it. We'll find out. Hold on, hope. Hold on, hopey. Boom. All right, hope you put the other one up there. And you really don't have to put it all the way up there. I might actually end up breaking one of them, but we'll let it do it anyways. Oh. Uh, so what you do is you, you put the eggs that you want, the older eggs, down here first. And we need to clean some of them off. But for right now, they're fine just for demonstration purposes. Is it fine? Yep, that's fine. And you stick them right here. So the concept is you have your eggs out on the counter and when you, right, you can leave them right here by the stove. So when you're cooking your eggs, you grab these ones first. Those are the older eggs. And so once you grab them, the fresher eggs fall. So you don't have them all mixed up in a basket where you don't know if that one's a week old or if it's a day old. Well, now you can keep track of them. So here's the, here's the three day old ones, the two day old ones, and then like the one day old ones. I need to tell this one. That makes sense. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> so it's actually pretty cool. I got this on Amazon um, for Brandy for Valentine's Day. I thought she'd really like it with the whole, uh, let's see here. Well, I never got these put up yet, but she got these, uh, that little, our little homestead signs and some other stuff. And I got this for her because I thought it went along with the rest of them. 
So yeah, if you guys are interested in that, I'll definitely put a link down below because I've, I've never seen this before and I was looking for ideas for her and I thought that was a great idea. So if you all are interested, check out the link below. That's all I got for you on today's vlog. I'll, give you, I'll keep you guys updated on the quail. Um, they haven't hatched yet, but as soon as they do, trust me, I will, I will show you guys uh, them. We let the little baby lamb, a black creature out of, of that little enclosed into the bigger pen area with its mama. So um, it's not with the rest of the flock yet, but we're gonna give it a few days, let it get some meat on its bones, you might say. Just let it get healthy and get some legs up underneath it a little bit stronger. Um, that way I don't want the other ones to smash it. Rampage. Brandy's wanting to name it Rampage, but that little, that little ram is not staying. That one's gonna get sold or it's going to Freezer camp? No. I think I might end up trading that little ram to Stony uh, Creek Heritage Farm. Uh, he wants to trade out um, lamb for goat, and I've been wanting to um, eat goat for a while now. Uh, Daniel saw Darren talks about how awesome his goats are, but I'll try it out for myself. All right, guys, hope you guys liked this uh, little vlog today. If you did, like always, smash that like button for me if you would. And if you're not subscribed, I don't know why you're not. Right over there, there's a little button you can push. It'll subscribe you to our channel, and we greatly appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next video.